hello everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a wonderful festival season um in today's episode i want to talk about FISIP. yeah FISIP, farmers input program as we all know agriculture is one of the major sectors that um, contributes to the economic growth of almost every country and I want to talk about this uh, topic in particular because there are so many um, contradictions that are kind of going on right now. Um, like um, as we saw in the president's uh, press briefing, um, he talked about agriculture, he talked about uh, FISIP, but there's something I'm not satisfied with because there, there is a, 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 a certain topic I expected the, the the president to talk about uh, when he mentioned um, uh, FISIP, but unfortunately he didn't talk about it. And to make you understand what I'm trying to say here, um, first let's 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 watch the president's press briefing where he talked about FISIP. I'm gonna explain later what what I'm what I'm trying to say. Let me touch on agriculture. Two critical issues that this government is fully aware that they require our attention and time in 2023 and beyond. Agriculture is one of those. We have worked, we inherited a difficult situation there, but we have worked tirelessly to stamp out corruption by and large. I see what the media are writing. The numbers don't show and agree with what is being written. I will show you just now to stamp out corruption by and large in the fertilizer procurement area. If you remember during our opposition, we talked about the debt, the mess around procurement as one area that is really costing the country too much money, general procurement. Procurement even of small things like pets, overpriced. Procurement of big items like the Gulf Stream, but annual procurement of fertilizer. See, it is not a big issue. There are issues, but it's not a big issue. And by addressing this issue, even at the risk of creating some delays in the procurement process, this year, 2022, your government was able to serve somewhere in the region of $154 million. Just from this space of procurement around fertilizer. If you remember, the tender process started around June, but around August it was canceled by the Public Procurement Authority. I may be wrong on a particular matter, but around there, the tender was canceled because of certain anomalies which we all agreed needed to be addressed. And we had to restart all over again. Hence, some of the delays that we experienced. And we acknowledge the delays. We take responsibility for the delays. But our intent is very clear. One of the value items we wanted to extract was to basically end the hemorrhaging around this issue. Of fertilizer procurement and hence the savings that I've talked about. It is these savings that is the test of the pudding when we're in opposition. We said we will introduce prudence, cost reductions, and still deliver. How do I know we still deliver for the category? Before we took office, out of the three million farmers class, one million farmers were on PC. We managed, that was not our agenda this year, but our agenda was to stabilize, to clean, to cut the costs, and move on in 2023. And you see a different fertilizer program in 2023. Time will tell, and we're not far from there. But this promise of prudence needed to start with the big lines. 
So the president uh, talked about uh, corruption uh, during the procurement of fertilizer and other stuff, yeah, which is one of the one of the things that uh, people suspected in a long time, and it was good that they addressed that issue. Um, and it's also good that the president admitted that um, there was delay uh, in the delivering of uh, FISIP. Um, it's really it's really good that he acknowledged that, and um, the government takes full responsibility for that. But what I'm not satisfied with is um, uh, the president did not talk about the the quantity of uh, we, uh, the quantity in which uh, farmers are, are receiving the, the inputs. You know, I don't know. I don't know if, they, if it's just a, 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 a misinformation or it's just propaganda because there there has been a lot of videos that have gone viral whereby farmers have been sharing inputs yeah. in in medas you know this is one thing that uh, that has happened for the first time this is one thing that I've, I've seen for the first time and i think that issue needed to be addressed you know i know it's important for farmers to get the inputs but it is also important in uh, in the uh, in the quantity in which they are getting the inputs you know if farmers are being given uh, a, a little very little uh, farming inputs like how much crops do we expect them to to grow how how do we expect to develop the ag agriculture sector how much food do we expect that we, we're gonna harvest next season i think this is a, this is one of the issues that needed to be addressed during the uh, the, the press briefing i know uh, some people are, are gonna say maybe i'm being biased or anything but as as a concerned citizen, I'm just I'm just speaking about it because I'm kind of concerned. You know, it's really important that um, farmers get their inputs on time, and not only that, they should get uh, at least reasonable uh, amount of uh, farming inputs. You know, I think this whole thing of trying to politicize everything will, not, will take us nowhere. We really need to work where work needs to be done, and this is one of the things we need to address right now you know it's really it's really 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 important please or maybe some of you have not seen these uh, circulating videos maybe just try and check this out Cooperative, you have to be thirty one. Oh no, to share in Ambuto to Saga to seven. No, to share in Aumo Moratiba Tiba. I remember very well during the campaign, the president promised people to get at to be getting eight bags of fertilizer. Eight. So maybe due to some circumstances, maybe the quite all, uh, quite all right, they might the government might not afford to give them or the, the the actual amount of bags they they were promised. But at least they should be given something reasonable. This thing of giving farmers uh, farming inputs in Bendaz, I think it's it's a very bad move, and the government really needs to work on it. I'm very happy that they've addressed the issue of um, corruption during the procurement of FISIP and um other and other stuff but this 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 issue is really crucial we need we really need to, to look on it you know because most poor farmers honestly they can't afford to be buying fertilizer for over a thousand kwacha uh, you know it's, it's it's not possible the government really needs to work on this the government really needs to pour up a socks on this and actually thank you for watching um Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as to turn on the notification button so that each time I drop a video, you will be the first to get notified. Thank you for watching once more. Peace.